Alright guys, just wanted to do a follow up on the Spear and Jackson bucket scoop. Um, again, as you know, it's got, this is the older one, it's got nice protection on the finger here. And it's pretty, pretty long handle, which is brilliant for scooping. Um, I've had this one a severe amount of time. I actually did a, one of our most popular videos is using this bucket scoop, mixing up sand and cement a long long time ago. I'll drop that in the description if you want to see how long I've had this scoop. This is probably one of the, the main ones we use. Do use um, a refiner one and a ragni one, but this would be the absolute main one. Just I think it's because it's so long and it's pretty comfortable that way to scoop stuff out. Um, you get good leverage, but yeah, had a severe amount of time for bucket scoop. Um, a lot cheaper then than it is now, but it's still cheap as far as tools go. But you can see how well it's rounded in. Now, there is a crack here, which happened pretty early on. So I imagine that is the weak point because the weld's quite strong on these. So the weld's not going to break. Um, your main risk would be it snapping across. But like I say, had that one a severe amount of time and still going strong. Um, let I also say guys, the weird thing about them is the wee knuckle guard there, the finger guards that Tyzak and Spear and Jackson have sort of went for. I think it's it's great. These ones are they're rubber. That's very, very comfortable. But yeah, probably one of the best bucket scoops I've had. I've had I normally buy cheap which don't last and they just keep replacing them they're cheap but these ones here this has lasted just it's blew a lot of other ones out of the water by far it's actually very sharp now too you could cut scrim with this it's really really sharp that's how old this thing is